Hey guys, Stankum here. Back with part three of uh, Kerbal Space Program on hard mode, career. Um, and I'm just trying to do this little mission where I have to fly over this point here. Uh, this is only the second time I've done one of these missions, so uh, sorry if I'm a bit of a noob doing it. But I'm trying to learn. I figured it'll help if I actually knew how to do these. <clears throat> You're entering, okay, crew report. Alright, we took it. Good. Good, good, good. And we freed up that crew report just in case. I don't think we actually need to keep the data, but um, just in case we freed that up. So I'm happy with that too. Alright, so I'm going to angle the ship a little, a little bit this way. And I want to um I wanna try to get it over in here somewhere. So that we can take some uh readings from the the desert. Damaging. Oof. We're damaging stuff from flying through the atmosphere so fast, I think. Alright, so let's um let's release that, get rid of SAS, turn this puppy around, and uh start protecting some of our equipment here. Looks like we'll come down right over here somewhere. Good. I hope. Yeah, we'll we'll make it. All right. Awesome. So that'll be some extra science. So that makes the the flight worth it at least. Um. Speed it up. Ah, no comm satellites, man. We, I think what I'm gonna do next when I get enough science, I'm gonna put some satellites into space, some comm satellites. Um, just because that'd be cool. We won't have to worry about where we can transmit and everything else. Hmm. Alright, we'll wait till we're on the ground. That's fine. my data that's fine cool close up the pop and let's run all these tests 1.8 come on more science than that 2.2 not bad 
1.4 weak you get out EVA report 1.4 alright and let's do a crew report yes 0.9 cool recover let's see what we got Seven point seven. Made a little bit of money. Not bad. All right, we're gonna skip a day ahead. And get some different missions. Let's see what we got. See, I don't, I don't trust us to be going within one hundred eighty meters per second at that altitude. I just don't. Oh. Transmit or recover scientific data from space around Kerbin. 11,002 science for that. Yes, please. Um, Alright, I think we'll do that. And then we also have, currently we have this mission to go 330,000 meters up into space and try a stack decoupler. And we get 37,000 and four signs for doing that. So that's, um, that would be awesome if we could do that. Let's, let's give it a go. So we're going to try to do that one and then just take some, uh, yeah. Try to transmit some data from space, which is pretty darn easy. All right. Mission, no, no, vehicle assembly, here we go. Alright, this is a good one for the, the short jaunts that we just had. However, this Foxtrot, no, Foxtrop, that was totally a mistake. Um, that was useless, it was just too big um, for the runway right now. So, uh, we will try again. Um, to build something that could get to 350,000 meters, whatever it was. That was ridiculous. But I think we could do it. Now that we have a couple more parts to work with. Um, coupling, decoupler, yep. Engines. Decoupler. Alright. De Actually, we need an engine first. Let's see, what's our weight at? 8.5. We're getting high. That will be fine there. We don't need to steer from there. I, I mean, not much, anyways. Enough that our our main um, magic steering inside the capsule can take it. I, I always found that funny that you know you can just steer however you want with no RCS thrust, thrusters, no nothing. I don't understand how that's supposed to work, but uh, I'll go with it. All right, this isn't. That's not going to happen. That's not going to give us enough. Um, and damn, that's eight. That's way too much weight. How much are each of these? Each is a three and a half. We can only do two of those. Um, okay. Well, that sucks. Uh, let's try. Let's try this. Is this going to be enough? We need the swivel now that it's not as high. And then can we put two of these? Uh, we need decouplers on the side for sure. And a little solids. A medium solids, I should say. Nope. It's too heavy. Shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. Uh, 
Well, um, how much thrust does this give me? Um, one ninety-seven. This gives us one sixty-seven. So that's more thrust. Um, I, you know, th this seems counterintuitive, but I'm going to, um, I'm going to run one of these in a single stage to try to get us off the ground. Um, yeah, that doesn't make any sense, does it? I mean, I should put it side by side with this. Should I? Darn, I don't know. No, because I can't put two on the sides. I can't do it. Oh, man. Alright, let's try it. Let's see what happens. I mean, if I had some really good engineering, I could put one on the side. But I don't know how... I don't know how we would keep the, the ship straight. I mean, they did it with space shuttle, right? You just throw the one rock on the bottom of it, and somehow they kept the damn thing straight. But, um... I'm not actually a NASA engineer, so I have no idea how to do that. I thought I read something that they allowed that in this game somehow, but um, I don't have the first idea how to do it, so I'm not gonna. I'm not even gonna try. All right. So, oh, that's cool. You can right-click. I just tried that just for kicks, and it worked. Um, put that there. Put that there. Put the goo container over here. And where's my communications? There we go. Sixteen point oh two. Can we put one more? Let's put one more small fuel tank in here. And we also need winglets for these bad boys. <clears throat> I'm not sure the appropriate spot to be putting those on rockets either. I think they they usually go at the bottom. I used to do model rockets, you know, with my dad and stuff. And um, I think the fins would go at the bottom because it kind of creates a little bit of um, stabilizing force down here. I assume that's where you'd want it. Right? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know enough about aerodynamics to even uh, try to say. Alright, since we spelled it wrong, we can't really spell it again correctly, so let's do that. Let's make sure our staging is, um, is correct here. That looks good to me. We have the pilot piloting it, right? Because this thing will just break. No, we don't. No, we do. All right. Oh, boy. Hopefully it doesn't fall over immediately. All right, so... Um, yeah, this is, this is probably not going to work. Again, I'm just kind of throwing a solid rocket booster on the bottom of this thing. Um, it's not even a big one. So, let's see. Let's see what happens. Oh, that's so slow. Oh, man. Don't fall over. Don't fall over. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. Now this darn solid booster is going to fall right on my launch pad. Son of a gun. Don't blow up my launch pad. I'll kill you. Good. I think it... Oh, no. It's gonna hit. Don't blow up my launch pad. Oh, I hope that didn't damage it.
This thing's going really slow. Very, very, very slow. We're starting to gain some speed, though. Um, so it's possible that our, our third stage might be able to get us up to 300,000. Kind of doubting it, though. make it. Honestly, it looks like we will make it, if you ask me. Cool. Alright, so we need to be 3.30, so let's, let's get this thing to say 3.30. Um, and I'll cut the engine. Alright, that's close. I'm in a good trajectory. That's kind of why I'm going this way and just a little more altitude. Because I don't want to come in this sharp. That would, um. Yeah, we'd definitely be burning something up at that point. But I have to let go of the, uh, the last stage up here between 3.30 and 3.40, um, so I can't do any corrections way up there. And while I'm doing this burn, I'm actually going to do the um, crew report, transmit. Good. Alright, so we finished that mission. And now we're just trying to stretch out this orbit, or this trajectory, I should say. Yeah, and we should try to um, we should try to land in here somewhere. So I'm going to do that as well. Let's try to get it stretched out to about there. good. Oh, we need to be in an orbit. Oh! Oh, I didn't even see that. Shoot. You know what? Um, let's get up to Apoapsis, because we won't be able to reach an orbit from here. And we'll have to, re we'll have to release this thing on the, um, on the, uh, on the downside of this slope here. Oh man, if we but if we go into an orbit. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This mission's trying to trick us. 
That's what it's trying to do. So if we go into an orbit and we release this thing, we're not going to have an engine to deorbit. <laughs> so, uh, so we can't do that. No, we can't do that. We have to design a different ship in order to do that. Darn. Okay, we would have to design a ship with two of these um, two of these things. Okay, that's fine. Let's just uh, let's get up to the altitude and make sure we're not crazy. Yeah, see, it's not it's not checked there. Um, but while we're out in deep space, I think we could probably run some uh, some more stuff on our some more science. I think it might count out here as, as a different um, as a different area. Log temperature. Yeah, see, this is awesome. Crew report. Yep, save all this good stuff. Awesome. See, I think that just gave us enough to, uh, to, um, get that stuff. Uh, cannot disembark while off of the carbon surface. Astronaut complex upgrade required. Okay, so I was going to do an EVA here and just take a crew report there, but that's not going to happen, of course. All right, let's speed it up. And going so fast. All right, let's get rid of our last stage. We're ready to do that, right? I'm not going to break anything. Yeah, just for uh, kicks here. Elongate our. Make sure that we're not breaking anything. Okay. And release. Okay. SS off. Speed up time. actually can't um, I can do an EVA report when we land but that's the only science I'll be able to do which is fine we got a lot oh man we're going fast Woo! don't lose the science don't lose my science oh no don't lose my science that's a lot Shoot. Look at it, it's at half health already. Something is. Lots of components are. Oh man, just slow down, slow down, slow down. Please slow down. think it's gonna make it. Yeah, turning the ship like this seems to really help in these sorts of situations. Cool. Good. 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 That's cool looking.
Hmm. I wonder what the um I wonder what the the uh when it goes yellow and red if that's like the simulation can't keep up or something. All right, so let's do EVA. EVA report. There we go. A little bit more. Uh. Oh my. My antenna's kind of in the way. That's probably why he couldn't get on right away. All right, so come on. I think we got like fifty science, right? Right, 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 right. There we go, 32. Not quite 50, but that's pretty good nonetheless. Alright, so now we can buy more stuffs. Construction. You know, that's all good stuff, but... Um, yeah, I think I, I want the science here. Yeah, I mean, all this stuff is is good. High-gain antenna, battery packs, got the um, uh, computer controls. There's no, um, there's no power generation. That's kind of a problem, but just put enough of these battery packs in there. We might be all right. Science Junior, that's going to be good. All right, that's a big one. So let's edit our ship, and um, what we need to do, I'm, I'm wondering if we could put two, you know, we can't put it there. We need, we need it down, shoot, where can we put it? Uh, we need, we need, hmm, I'm trying to think how to do this, okay, here we go, here we go. So if I put a little, let's put a, let's put a little fuel tank up here, and then a, um, let's put like two of these, I think that'll be enough, I hope. Alright, okay. And then um, put another decoupler down here. Stick that on there. So now we'll be able to use this to get to 330,000 meters. Um, decouple all that. And that'll count as our decouple. And then we'll be able to use this to deorbit. Man, I'm really glad I thought about that before. because. Um, I, I would have just totally oh it's too heavy really how heavy are these things <sighs> uh, they're they're heavier than the um, than this little 